Hello everyone, today is another makeup tutorial and this is in the same spirit as I have been doing for a while now. There are a lot of people on Instagram that I follow that I really really love and I just basically sometimes recreate their looks and catch it on camera basically. I get to learn, I get to like discover different things and you guys get to see like how different people interpret the same kind of, obviously, you know, it's one picture, but two people have done it, so how, um, you know, two different people interpret the same kind of makeup, and you also get to see how this could be done, so if you're maybe not as, um, you know, confident with makeup, and you see a picture, you know, of, of, of an eye look that you really, really like, but obviously it's just a picture, you don't quite know where to begin to do it, well, here is an entire video on how exactly to do it. Perhaps this gives you inspiration, perhaps it's entertaining, and well, if you have other pictures of, you know, some people from Instagram, or even pictures of makeup that you don't quite know where, who this belongs to, send them my way, and I love kind of trying to recreate it and try to see what I come up with, try to see how it ends up looking, try to see if I can make a tutorial for you. So yeah, that would be a really good idea actually to just just send it my way, I'm gonna try and see. So, this um, Instagram account, I've actually done another makeup uh, tutorial kind of video on. That was like a really long time ago. I've been following Makeup Mouse, so that's her Instagram tag, Makeup Mouse, on Instagram for like months and months and months now, and I really, really fucking love her. But yeah, I guess she gives me a lot of inspiration, so this is a, this is a look I'll, I'll be copying. I've kind of tried to recreate it on this eye for practice. Already, it's not quite done, but it's nearly there. So what I'll be showing you on camera is just how I do this other eye, and then I'll put on the entire face, which obviously I don't know how she did her entire face because it's just a picture of the eye, but nevertheless, this should be fun. So Makeup Mouse um, actually has her own uh, like thing she started doing very recently, where she recreates, she doesn't make videos, I don't think, she only has an Instagram account with like a billion followers. Um, so she actually recreates makeup looks of her followers that I think her followers send her. So I think that's a really good idea as well, but basically I've been doing this for a while the other way around. Obviously I don't have enough people really following me to like send me looks that I can recreate. So basically I just recreate looks of people who I follow. Um, right, so without any further ado, let's zoom you in a little bit and I'm going to begin doing this eye. So this eye actually, as you can see, it has a lot of colors going on like in it, but they actually go together so very well. And I'm so lucky to have actually found every single color that's like really similar. The other thing about this, this is this kind of video following um, like a, a makeup look of someone else. I'm basically trying to advocate for people using their own makeup, their own colors to make, to recreate the look or even just gather inspiration. By no means do I have the products that she has. I basically just, just rummaged through my own makeup and found things that work or do the same job. So the first color I'll be using is, is for the transition shade. And this is from the palette Profusion Mixed Metals. Um, this was actually really cheap in uh, TK Maxx or TJ Maxx if you live in America. And I'll be using shade Burlesque. So I've totally forgotten to conceal my eye, that's what I usually do when I do my eyes. Um, I don't do the whole face, I just do my concealer, do the eye and then do the rest of the face. So, for this transition shade I'm using Burlesque, and this is just like a really dark, kind of mauve very dirty rouge shade. I, th um, I think like a lot of you probably have that kind of shade in your collection. And so I'm just working quite slowly. This is a quite a dark shade to go with uh, without any transition. So make sure that the first time you're going in, you really tap off that excess, and you know you don't really go overboard. So especially when I'm just first touching um, the brush to my eyelid with uh, newly picked up pigment, I'm just barely, barely grazing the color across where I want it to be. And only then, when I've kind of deposited everything where it needs to be, do I start to really kind of press a little bit harder. And this is definitely a winked out look, so make sure you go out and up. So I found that this shade is a little bit darker, one, for my liking, and two, to what I think uh, Makeup Mouse did on her eye. 
So I am grabbing this shade. This is 366 um, from Inglot. Their eyeshadows are really good. This is basically just a really... I don't really know what to describe it. Like a pinky orange, kind of bubblegummy uh, shade. And I'm just picking it up on the same brush and I'm going to graze it all around um, the burlesque shade just to lighten it up. This is basically a mistake learned from this eye. I didn't use this Inglot shade first of all and when I did just the burlesque and then I applied this dark green on the lid, everything looked really muddy and dark. So I needed something else to lift up that color. Okay, so next up I'm using another Inglot shade actually. This is the shade 340. This is just a very, very dark, um, this is really dark, really dark uh, green blue. I am very bad with naming shades. All I know is like green, blue, red, and yellow. Um, anything else is like a combination of, of, of those that I've just said. Um, yeah, so this is this kind of shade. I'm picking it up on a packing brush and I'm just gonna go all over my lid. I'm, bring, um, I'm grabbing a smaller little packing brush and I'm picking up still the same Englot shade and I'm basically just one, painting all over any kind of um, bare areas on the eye and two, really digging into that inner corner or any little nooks and crannies where the other brush was just too big for. From here is just a blending exercise. I've basically put two different shades right next to each other. So I'm grabbing the same brush, uh, the crease brush that I, I used for my crease shade and I'm just going over the edges of this darker shade on the lid to make sure that it blends into the crease. Also winging it out slightly. Inevitably, since you're blending the shadows, you're basically going to lose some pigment. So make sure you're you're grabbing the pigment back, whether that is the, the dark uh, lid color or the burlesque on the crease. Make sure that you are, um, you know, keeping things pigmented and blended out. So I'm grabbing a flatter, fluffy brush and I'm uh, grabbing the dark lid shade and I'm just going over the edge of it to add some pigment while also keeping it blended. And back with the blending brush, dip into burlesque and add definition. Once you're totally happy with the pigmentation and the blend of the two colors, the next one up is some shimmer on the lid. And this one might actually be quite a, a problem, I guess, to some if, if you don't have this kind of shade. I'm using Vestment from the Kat Von D Saint and Sinners palette. And this is just like a venomous kind of, um, like a shifty dark green color. And I never quite thought, I mean, I've had this dark, uh, the matte and gloss shade and then this shimmer for like months, for ages. And I never thought of combining those two together and only for this look was I like kind of searching for it. And oh my god, they go together as if they were like made for each other. So I'm just tapping it on with a finger. Can you see this? This is like really like they're literally made for each other kind of shades. Okay, next up I'm grabbing a smudger brush and I'm dipping into the red shade from my uh, Morphe, Morphe? From Morphe 35 OM. And this is of course going on the lower lash. I cannot do my lower lash while speaking to you or looking at the camera, so... Grabbing the flatter, fluffy brush from before, make sure that it's kind of cleaned up from the darker shade. I'm grabbing some of the red on this brush and winging it out. So one feature kind of of this look is that it has all of these different shades you know, the, the dark burlesque and the crease, the dark kind of blue on the lid and then the red on, on the lower lash and then also the yellow later and they all create this, this kind of um, wing. Still the same brush, I am dipping into a yellow shade. This one is from NYX. I've used it in, I think, my last video to create this fully yellow eye, uh, that was like really cool. So I'm just really saturating this uh, brush with the yellow and I'm just smoking it out just below the red. And making sure I wing it out too. Okay, so the only other thing uh, with Shadow that she did is a really intense uh, like golden highlight in the inner corner. 
I don't think I have like anything quite as light, so what I did was I used Relic from the Kat Von D palette, which is just a very intense gold metallic, and I just put it on this fluffy brush, put it in the inner corner, and that to me is just a little bit too golden, so what I did was I just dived into um, like a yellowy golden very light sheer highlight that I have and I just went over that gold to kind of bring it up a little bit and her inner corner highlight was definitely not modest so I am being liberal as well so that's basically all of the eyeshadow. I've just realized that I've only had this one brow done for the entire the entirety of this video, which kind of looks a little bit weird. So the only other thing, and let me just check, that she has on that I don't right now is... Right, so she has a red waterline. What I'm gonna... Give me one second. Okay, so as I suspected, this worked beautifully. I have done this before. What I did was basically grabbed... Um, the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in like True Red. I grabbed it on a concealer brush and I just smudged that in my waterline. Well, I didn't smudge, I like dabbed it in. So this is like a really good actually makeup, tri makeup tip. If you like see all of these like really intense waterlines on, uh, on Instagram and you don't quite know how to do it because if I were to use any this kind of like red waterline um, pencil it would never be as as intense as as this is here as you can see and if you don't want to spend like 50 billion like dollars on like a my, like a really high quality Marc Jacobs waterline pencil then this is a great thing to do make sure that you can you know that the lipstick is good quality and is safe to put in your waterline um, I have personally used Kat Von D lipsticks and NYX lipsticks and I think I've used this uh, Clara Cosmetics liquid lips uh, lipstick as well. This is an Australian brand. So all of these kind of like okay good quality lipsticks that I've used in my waterline have been good. Um, so I'm just gonna do that on my other eye. The only thing I would say is Pull your lower kind of, you know, pull this part, portion of your eye downwards for when you're um, applying this and don't like let it go up against your eyeball for a, a few seconds, maybe wait to like 20 seconds before the lipstick dries because um, your eye will start watering and you will start crying like red tears and the whole thing will also melt away. So make sure that the lipstick has like a couple of hot seconds to dry down on the lower on the waterline before you let that go. This is not the easiest thing to do. Your eyes will water, and if you're like squeamish or if your eyes water a lot normally anyway, you're going to have quite a hard time putting a liquid lipstick in your waterline. But I mean, you can play around with it. I'm not saying that it's like totally safe just because it's safe for me. I have heard Kat Von D say that her liquid lipsticks were like fully vegan and safe to put in the eye and so basically I've tried other ones and they've been fine. I'm not saying that the one you have is also safe, I'm not saying that your particular eyeball will be totally fine with putting like chemicals in them. It's worked for me and nothing bad has happened. You do it on your own accord, don't sue me. Okay, so this is the eye look done. Give me two seconds for me to do my other brow, do the rest of my uh, face makeup, maybe put some lips on, I'm not sure about those, and I'm gonna zoom you in, you know, for the final look and all of that. Holy heck, it feels like I've been filming for about three fucking million hours. I haven't been doing these kind of videos, obviously, because, well, I had my exams and then I kind of fell out of sync and I'm getting back into the swing of things. But, oh my fucking god, um, I mean, clearly this is thanks to Makeup Mouse, because this looks so good. I obviously had this combination of colors in my drawers, and I never thought of, like, combining those, and it looks so fucking good. I really, really, really love how this turned out. I'm gonna just zoom this in so that you can fucking appreciate right with me. What the hell? 
So obviously the only other thing that I, I did, you can, you can see that little glow there from Vestmond from Kat Von D. Right, so the only thing that I did off camera was obviously uh, I put mascara and lashes on, I did the other brow and I did my face. That's literally it. I did uh, foundation, my L'Oreal True Match, which I've run out of. Uh, I set it with Elemental Beauty, I used ABH um, contour palette for some contour, and then I used some uh, highlight from the same ABH palette as well as the Kat Von D Alchemist um, in the purple shade, as well as the Kat Von D Thunderstruck eyeshadow slash highlighter. I used this, this is such a good find, this lipstick, but this is for another video, I can't tell you what it is. This lipstick is a dupe for Jeffree Star's Mannequin, which is my totally favorite shade uh, if you watched any of my previous videos, but I've ran out of it, I've totally used the entire lipstick. And this is a really, 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 I would say, I mean, for the price that it is, that I can't tell you, it is so fucking good. Um, and that's basically it. I put some blush from uh, number seven and I think this is it. This is such good makeup. I keep like looking at myself in the fucking monitor, but oh my god. Thank you, Makeup Mouse. This is fabulous. I might just never take this off. So I hope you uh, got inspired by this video or perhaps it was just uh, entertaining to watch. If you have any looks that you would like me to kind of unravel and show on camera on how I would do it please send them my way that would be really really cool or if you've done your own looks just like this you know kind of copied someone else's or took inspiration let me know down in the comments below as well connect your other YouTube videos or um, Instagram accounts all of that kind of stuff I love to see what people create uh, you never know what I kind of wake up one morning and really want to recreate. So I hope you, this was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. A subscription to my channel as always is very optional, but if you decide to subscribe I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye!